it never ceases to amaze me how people in this entitled world that we call the United States of America always find ways to piss me off underneath the skin, right? They just get underneath that skin and just want to like poke and prod and be something stupid, right? Wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles, Alshon Jeffries, says that this whole media week is the dumbest thing that he has ever experienced in his whole life. He said he, he, he would have been perfectly fine sitting at home in Philadelphia getting ready for the Super Bowl and just doing what he had to do there and then come here Saturday and then bada bing, bada boom, he would have been like, hey, let's play the game. Well, there, Mr. Philadelphia receiver, there's a reason why th this is called the Super Bowl and Super Bowl week, right? You do understand, like, this is the biggest, like, this is the most... This is what you worked for forever. So if you have to spend an hour talking to the media, suck it up, my man. Suck it up. Pull that D out of your B and talk to Pat McAfee. Talk to the ESPN guys. Talk to the NFL Network. It's not going to kill you. Like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? But it is time to cue that intro. Are you ready? For the best damn radio show on the planet. Man Hour Nation, rise up. The intro's not there. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. You don't want to be every time, no. I would like to personally welcome you to Man Hour After Dark. Alrighty, guys. So since I forgot to put the intro video in there, let's just go ahead and skip the intro, my Mikey mean. I guess I'm making a new one anyway, I mean, so but it being but a boom, it yeah, is what it is. I mean, no, 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 <laughs> skip the intro. We got a lot to talk about tonight. It's Super Bowl week. It is NFL man. honors are on right now. We're about to get the, the MVP of the season. And and I'll, I'll I will I will come in as soon as that happens. I will announce the MVP. Who who do you think it's gonna be? Who do you uh, think it's gonna be? So my gut is telling me it is gonna be Patrick Ma Patrick Mahomes. But if it is a true MVP. I got to give it to my man, Jalen Hurts, because we saw how bad the yeah. Philadelphia Eagles were without him. And once he come, 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 comes back by the beam, by the boom, they're in the Super Bowl. But it is probably going to go to Patrick Mahomes because he is the best quarterback on the best team. Agreed. I, no, 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 no. Time out. I don't agree with that. I don't think it's going to be Patrick Mahomes. I think it's going to be Jalen Hurts. And here's why. Jalen Hurts has completely turned that Eagles team completely around. They were the best team in the NFL this season. Yes, I know that the Chiefs had the same record as the Philadelphia Eagles. And you know what? A lot of people out there, they're going to see the Cowboys and be like, hold on. Why are you talking about the Eagles like this? You should be downing them. Listen, yes, I know they may have played a cupcake schedule. But here, listen to me. Jalen Hurt got Jalen Hurts got hurt with his shoulder, comes back, and still knocks off the 49ers and, and did it in, like, wow, right? Right. The 49ers defense was supposed to be the best defense in the league. So I don't want to hear anybody like, oh, well, Purdy wasn't in. What about your defense? Your defense let the Philadelphia Eagles score 30-plus points on you. Yeah. Calm down with that. And it and it wasn't even like Nick Bosa or or not, is it Nick Bosa? Or one of the Bosa boys, like he was in there. Like the whole defense was in yeah. there. So I mean, like I got like I get it, Mike. You are spot on. I mean, yep. Yep. like it is what it is. So we do have a question that is going on over on YouTube.com and Facebook.com of who is winning the Super Bowl. And Wade Jones, welcome to the chat, man. He he comes in and says Eagles will win it thirty four to twenty four. Hang on, man. Mm. We don't want to see no scripts being leaked here. 34-24. That'd be a hell of a game. <laughs> that would be a um, hell of a day. Oh, but I like your hat. Yeah. You got that cowboy hat I, on. I like that. And it's, I like uh, that. sorry, uh, this side, it's uh, Sean Lee autographed. I mean, it, I mean it's not autographed, Ooh. but it's like it's like the stitch right from the lids. And then Wade Jones says, take that sorry ass ass off. No wonder you guys always hating on on, on 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 the Eagles. First things first, they're Wade Jones. I am a Kansas City Chiefs guy. The 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 Cowboys are kind of like my secondary backup team that I root for. Like I feel everybody might can can have an AFC and an NFC. Now you have two NFC teams: the Cowboys NFC and the Packers. 
Which I got we're, my cheese hand right. We're going to clarify that. We're going to clarify that. Hold <laughs> on. Time out. Because everybody gives me shit about this, right? All my yep. friends, they're like, oh, go put your Packers jersey on. Listen, I'm a fan of Aaron Rodgers. Oh, so that right? means you're going to be That's a Raiders fan like next year. Raiders yeah, fans. I, I will. I'll be, a, I'll be a Raiders fan. If he goes to the Raiders, which I don't think he will, I think he goes to Tampa Bay. But if if he is on the Raiders, then yeah, I'm going to go get a Raiders jersey of Aaron Rodgers, and I'm going to be rooting for the Raiders. That's just what it is. So, wait, just to clarify, Kansas City Chiefs are my team, but I – I mean, like, I honestly like a lot of teams, right? Mean, mean, like, mean, like, I like players, like, on certain, like, certain teams, just like Mike's, like, Aaron Rodgers. Mean, like, me living in the Southern Indiana area, I see a lot of Bengals games, I see a lot of Colts games, I see a lot of Titans games. So I'm kind of passively always root for them to win too, right? I mean, obviously, but when they play, 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 play the Chiefs, hello, uh, red and gold, right? I mean, I'm Chiefs through and through. Just like Javier says, I got the Chiefs first. He says he goes for the Chiefs first as for first as well. And then Wade also says he is the best quarterback on the second best team. Is uh, Wade, who are you referring to? Are you are you talking about the Patrick Mahomes as he's the best quarterback on the second best best team? Cuz uh Mikey it looks like uh, Wade has a bunch of Eagles gear on in his profile picture there so mm, we can have some we have some a, great a- great pizza. Oh, great pizza. Great people. Joey's in the chat as well. He says, hello, person I have never met. Joey, this is Mike LeBlanc. What's up? I'm OG. Me and Mike actually started Man Hour. So it actually used to be called the Mike and Mike Man Hour, and then we just shortened it to the Man Hour. Uh, So what, June of 2021, was it, Mike? About two years ago, three years ago? I can't remember. No, no, no. It was was during COVID. So it was June of 2020. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... It's been a while so since. I took a hiatus, since, yeah. I took a hiatus yep. and you know I, I I had to I had to take some me time, some shit going on in my life. Yep. We won't talk about that. And I had to continue to build my business. So yeah. Now I'm back. I'm not going nowhere. Get get used to this face, right? Yeah. Buck and Mike is man hour. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, Joey also says OJ Simpson was the. Uh, when he saw the script in 1992 NFL script, he just has his eye covered emoji going on, going on, going on there. Uh, so Joey, Joey always cracks me up. Like he has that, um, it's that, it's that very sense of humor. Like you have to like understand it to like get his funny jokes, but it is kind of funny in the end, but we do see some Packers fans. We see some Eagles fans and some Chiefs fans in the chat here. So Mike, let's go ahead and jump into the Super Bowl week here. And we've been talking about Super Bowl all week long. And now I want to throw you out some if and then statements of the week. And this is all going to be Super Bowl related versus the Eagles versus the Kansas City 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 Chiefs here. So the first if and then statement that I'm going to ask you tonight is there is going to be a multi-scoring player in this Super Bowl, whether it be from the Kansas City Chiefs side or from the Philadelphia Eagles side. Either way, this person that I'm going to talk about is Miles Sanders. He has had 1,200 yards this season with a, with a, with with 11 touchdowns and 259 attempts. So, Mike, if Michael San or sorry, if if Miles Sanders finds the end zone multiple times in this Super Bowl, then what? Uh, then nothing. I don't think Miles Sanders is the is the uh, deciding factor in this game. So I'm just gonna go if if he gets into the end zone multiple times in the Super Bowl. I think Miles Sanders possibly could win MVP, but I don't think it. I don't. I don't think he finds his way into the end zone multiple times. I really don't. Not with that Kansas City front. Not with Chris Jones. It's it. The Kansas City run game or they're they're on the defense. Their run game run stop game is. Is, is pretty decent, and I think it'll be enough to hold Miles Sanders down, sir. Yeah, so what I was proposed this, proposed this question by my wife because she helps me uh, per prep for these shows and, like, makes questions and, like, and, like, and, like, all that stuff. And, and, like, when she said which person is going to find the end zone twice this season or, it, like, in this game, my first thought was, like, Oh, Jalen Hurts. Oh, Patrick Mahomes, right? I mean, like the obvious picks there. But then I'm like, man, let's go out of limb and say somebody that we're not expecting. And nobody is really expecting Miles Sanders to find the end zone multiple times in this game, Mike. He has 11 rushing touchdowns all season long. So if Miles Sanders does find the end zone twice this game, 
then Jalen Hurts got hurt, which then that is a disaster for the Philadelphia Eagles. If Miles Sanders gets hurt, or sorry, finds the end zone twice, Jalen Hurts gets hurt, and the Eagles are getting blown out, like, at this point. So it just, like, I just don't see Miles Sanders getting the ball that much in this game, to be honest with you. You, you, let me tell you who the X factor is going to be in this game. Okay. It's going to be AJ Brown. Okay. Because he's going to drop the AJ ball Brown. And call it a catch or calm down, calm down. <laughs> AJ Brown has had a great season. Um, him and him and Hertz have like they they have that chemistry. I mean, we've seen it game after game after game. Um, AJ Brown's going to be that X factor, and then obviously, you know, they're going to give the MVP to the quarterback. They're going to get it. Jalen Hurts is going to be the MVP of the Super Bowl. Whoa. Okay. And I have the Eagles winning. I have the Eagles winning 31-28. You know, we used to do shave, shave, uh, shaved head bets bet on this uh, show, Mikey. Um, we sure did, didn't are you, we? Are you prepared you remember to, the time uh, I had to wear an Alabama hoodie? Yeah, yeah. Are you prepared to uh, mm. bet the beard or the hair on this game? Oh, bet the beard. Oh, oh. I'll bet the beard. I'm going to go with the Eagles. I'm not going to guess points, but I'll go with the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. I'll bet the beard. Listen, I got a waffle around it because I just got on the good side with the wifey, and if I shave, she's going to be super pissed off. So I'm going to have to back on it, back out on that 100%. <laughs> so speaking of your X Factor, Wade Jones comes in here, and he says A.J. Brown will have two tutties on Sunday. That I is, think so. I think is, he has two that, or three that, That's not a reach. Yeah, that's not a reach at all. It's not a reach. That is not a reach. That is – that's I, – I would I would be surprised if he didn't. Yeah. Uh, if he if he doesn't, that's because uh, Sneed locked his ass down. And I, and I think yeah. Sneed is the X factor in this game, to be honest. I don't think Sneed is that guy to lock down A.J. Brown. So breaking news here, Geno Smith has earned the AP NFL player comeback comeback player of the year. So Hey man, good for him, dude. Yeah. To see Geno Smith go in and and really do what he did. I know we're totally getting off topic now, but what he did with Seattle, right. I, I don't be surprised if you start to see Seattle to come back next year or the year after. Like they start building around Geno Smith. I really think the the Seattle Seahawks are back in the conversation, so, at least for the playoffs. Yeah, so we always talk about teams that are quarterbacks away, right? Uh, the Las Vegas Raiders, the Denver Bron- yeah. Bron- Broncos, right? Many people thought that the Seattle Seahawks were a f- number one overall pick. Do you guys realize that in Combs' uh, power rankings that uh, f- uh, Seattle Seahawks were like eight and nine pretty much all season long until like that very end of the season when they started like three or four games skid there? I mean, they were a yeah, really, but- really good team. So I, I get that, but let's let's be real. Combs power ten was just horrendous all season long. Eh, not wrong since you had the Eagles up there. Uh, Danny jumped in the chat here. Well, what's up, Danny? First for first time chat. We got a lot of first time chatters in here tonight, Mike. That's that, this is pretty hey, exciting. Hey, he says on? the he says the Eagles are going to get smoked. Ex- they are exposed and they're overrated. Ooh, Mike, are the Philadelphia Eagles, man, overrated? Wow. No, they are not overrated. Did you see what they did to that 49ers defense? The best defense in the league? Did you did, did you watch the same game I did? I, I don't I, think you did. Because if you watch the same game I did, then you know that the Eagles are not overrated, Danny. Oh, that's my boy, Danny. Okay, Danny. Danny, <laughs> calm down, sir. He's just mad because uh, he's mad because the Eagles beat his 49ers. That's all. Oh, oh, I, I, I see what's That's going on all. here. A team is overrated because they beat your team. So what does that tell, tell us about your team? Your team's a shithole all season long, right? I mean, come on now. That's, Danny, call the Eagles are made. not overrated. <laughs> These, man, I wish the Cowboys would have beat them in the playoff, beat the 49ers. I really wanted to see – I really wanted to see Dak Prescott against Jalen Hurts. I wanted to see Jalen Hurts against that Cowboys defense. Yeah, full strength um, on full strength, I'm, right? I'm, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not super confident in Dak Prescott going against that Eagles defense by any means, but I would have liked to see Jalen Hurts go against the Cowboys defense because 
and all of you out there in the interwebs, I don't care what you say, the Cowboys had the number one defense in the league last year. Yes, we had a problem stopping the run, but overall, Cowboys defense was probably the best defense in the league. So speaking of your boy, uh, Danny here, he says Jared McKinnon will score twice. Um, I like Ooh. your optimism, but Jared McKinnon's not even going to probably touch the ball more than five times a day, like in the game. I'm just throwing it out there. Jared, Jared, Jared McKinnon is like the fifth option in the receiver game and like third running back. Sorry, Danny. Now, if that happens. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. He says, speaking like you don't know about football, Niners were three and out all game. Because they couldn't throw the ball two yards. Where do we see that at? Let me scroll down. It's on. It's on. It's there on it Facebook. Is. There it's it on, is. There it is. Speaking. I mean, I mean, you look, Danny. Like, I feel bad for you. Pro, or Brock Purdy went down. Um, I don't think it would have been a different outcome. I do think the Philadelphia Eagles still win that game, but I do think it would have been a much closer game. Mike, let's talk about this game. Okay, so people think about Brock Purdy going down. The first series changed the whole outcome of the game. Which I which, really do. Which I, it very I, I really could have, right? I mean, it I, very I well could have. But at the end of the day, Look, the you, defense you gotta, still couldn't stop tip the your Eagles. Hat. You got to tip your hat to Brock Purdy. For, for Let's what? be honest. For hand the ball off to Chris McCaffrey? I mean, McCaffrey? look what he did. He's a Mr. Mr. Irrelevant. I mean, he came in and... Like, he handled business, right? He's not an elite quarterback by any means. I don't know. By people pe- people want to put that crown on his ass right now. Oh, he's 7-1. Well, look, look. <laughs> I'm sorry, 49er fans. Trey Lance is going to be your starter next year. Mm. That's just what it is. Brock Purdy is going to be a great backup. He is a game manager. And he manages he, – he did exactly what they needed him to do going down the stretch in those eight games, going down the stretch. Brock Purdy is a great game manager. He's the one – he he's not the reason why you won those games, though. Right. Let's well, be honest. Well, uh, people always try to th- throw the term game manager as a bad term. That's not a bad term. It's not a bad term. That's it's what Tom Brady is. That's what Alex Smith is. That that If Dak Prescott could have office a corner that could make him a game man manager, he would he, be a great game manager. So, I mean, it's, that's, that's, uh, that's not a bad term by any means. Joey says, I can't believe we're not talking basketball tonight. Joey, this is a football show. We don't talk basketball. We, here on the Man Hour, we try to dabble in that UFC baseball, basketball bullshit. No, this is NFL, baby. NFL all day long. Moving on, Mikey. Are you ready to move on to the next topic? Um, can I, can I say something? I right. read something somewhere. I, I know we're, we, this is a man hour. We talk about what the fuck we want. Live, raw, and uncut sports talk, baby. Hey, did you, did you see that DeMar Hamlin is going to play football again? Well, did you also see that the, uh, what was it? The president of the Buffalo Bills also had a cardiac arrest right around the same time too. Interesting. You know what that's all about. Interesting. The vid, man. COVID. I mean, look, we can't, can't see that I, work. I can't Damn it. We just got demonetized, Mike. Damn. Wait, look, look, <laughs> now our, our show is going to get shut down. Probably. Damn it. It's, it's yeah. happened but, before. I mean, I actually put man. the vid title in the name. I, I think we're live for like maybe two, 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 two minutes. Like, nope. Nix that real quick. <laughs> I did. I yeah. remember that. Yeah. I remember that. But all right, let's go. Next question. Next question. I'm uh-huh. just, I'm just, I'm excited for Demar Hamlin. Oh yeah, me. You go me. through that, and you're still going to be able to play ball. That's cool. Well, man. hang on here. Let's talk about that body double. Did you hear that little conspiracy oh. thing that was going around? I, I did. Look, man. Do you think he's really going to play football again, or is it a Bobby double, like a body double, and it's all just a publicity stunt? And he's, oh, they he's went and, get they went and cloned him, like they clone all the celebrities when they get out of hand. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the Illuminati at work, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe that shit for one minute. God, we are no. so off the rails. I love it. I so love off it. the rails. So off the rails. Is that is that a white call? Oh uh, no, it's one of my wife's Bud Light seltzers because I was a fucking uh, busy all day. I didn't get to go get me some twisted teas before. Basic, the man basic white bitch. All right, basic so move, white bitch. So speaking of NFL MVPs here, Patrick Mahomes is probably going to win the MVP. Now that I've said that, it's probably not going to happen, no. but this is a Jalen Hurts versus Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl, and 
basically whoever is going to perform better is going to ultimately probably win the game. So, Mike, with that being said, if Patrick Mahomes throws two interceptions or more this Sunday versus the Philadelphia Eagles, then what? Oh, they lose the game. They lose the game. They lose the game. I mean, we saw that with Dak Prescott. He threw two interceptions against the 49ers, and what happened? They lost the game. This is a playoffs, man. This is not a regular season game. This is playoff. And not, not even that. Hold on. This is a Super Bowl, right? This is a Super Bowl. You cannot throw two interceptions. You can't give the ball away two times to that Eagles offense and expect them not to come away with points. You throw you you give Jalen Hurts two extra opportunities. He's going to score points. It's either going to be three or seven. He's going to score points on you. So if Patrick Mahomes throws two picks in the Super Bowl, yeah, it, Eagles win. Yeah, uh, I've been going back and forth on this just because, like, I, 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 I was trying to find some stats to really support my narrative here, but I couldn't. Like, like my thought process is was, like, every time Patrick Mahomes does throw two interceptions or more, the Chiefs win the game, which, which you know, they, they do – but it's at a 70% rent rate there, which I, I want a 90% rate going into Super Bowl, right? I got to want him to throw two interceptions, but... Yeah, but I mean... Go ahead. On those two interceptions, who is he playing? Uh, I I don't... I, I don't... I, I, I didn't dive that that deep into the stats because it was proving my narrative wrong. I was like, oh, no, I need a, I need the stats <laughs> to prove, to prove right. my narrative, right? But... I mean, let's just be honest. If he throws two interceptions, it is going to be a lot closer game than what it should be, right? Because I think that the Kansas City Chiefs are better Great. on the offensive side of the ball. Now, I think the Philadelphia Eagles' defense is better than the Chiefs' defense, but they are matched up pretty close. Many people are saying that, oh, the Philadelphia Eagles are the best Great. defense in the league. Yes, they are stat-wise, but let's break it down the last eight weeks of the season because that's when the Kansas City Chiefs' defense starts to excel. They're both top five defenses in the league the last eight weeks of the season. But if Patrick Mahomes does throw two Agreed. interceptions in in this game, it is going to be a three-point game in the favor of the Philadelphia Eagles. Release the script, 37 to 34 Eagles, Mike. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's that high of a score, man. I really don't. I don't think I mean, the Kansas City defense is playing really good right now. I mean, look, man, they shut down Burrow, right? Cincinnati Bengals were hot going in to the AFC. Calm down. Stop. <laughs> um, but then you look at the Philadelphia Eagles. What do they got, 70-plus sacks on the season? 77 in the regular like, season, and the Chiefs were at second with 57, I think it was. Yeah, so you got yeah. like 20 more sacks than your right. team, right? So, I mean, it's I, – I don't think it's going to be that high of a score. Like, I – and I know I said earlier, like, 31-28, but, I mean, I think we're looking in the 20s for both teams. I do not think this is going to be a shootout at so, all. So, let me go off script, script, script here. If it's not a shootout, who does it favor? Does it favor the Eagles or does it favor the Chiefs? Uh, it, it favors the Eagles. The Eagles are a grinded-out team where – you know, Patrick Mahomes is, I'm going to push the ball downfield. And that's where he makes mistakes is when he tries to force the ball downfield. Jalen Hurts is really conservative. So with that being said, Mike, Patrick Mahomes used to be a forced to type a guy to Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill is no longer yeah. here. His forced to guy now is Travis Kelsey. However, yeah. when he forces the ball to Travis Kelsey, it normally is in traffic in between the hashes underneath 10 yards. And I think the Philadelphia Eagles linebacker play, TJ Edwards, excuse me, uh, uh, Reed Blankenship kind of walks up play, and, and kind of plays that walk-up safety spot. Those are the two weak points of the Philadelphia Eagles, I think. So if you're going to force it to anybody, force it to TJ Edwards, right? To Travis Kelsey, TJ Edwards is trying to guard his ass. Can you really stop Travis Kelsey? I think not. If it's going to force it to anybody, that's the guy that I'm going to force it to over and over and over again. Thoughts? Uh, I mean, yeah, you're going to force the ball to Travis Kelsey. I mean, I mean, who else are you going to force it to? Uh, you can throw it to Juju. Juju? MVS. You're going to force the ball to Juju? 
that's where you gonna force the ball to? Hey, that's the second most targets on the like on the like la like, like on the like, like on the team. I mean, you're not forcing the ball to Juju. Juju is a what? He's he's the Kansas City number one receiver, right now. Uh, that, if you want to call him that, sure. I mean, technically, it's Travis Kelsey. He has 152 targets on the season, and Juju is second on the team with 100 and, with a wait with 101. Uh, Kelsey so, is a fucking tight end. Calm down. That but also plays I'm slot about, X and Z, so fail back. Yeah, I mean, they use Kelsey. I mean, Kelsey is a, a unique player, but your true number one receiver on depth chart is Juju. Right. I mean, don't don't I mean, don't get me wrong. Like it's just like C D Lamb, number one on the Cowboys. Like C D Lamb's just not a true number one receiver, and neither is Juju. Juju that used to is, be not anymore. And this is this is why I say AJ Brown will be the X factor because AJ Brown I still believe has enough gas in the tank to be a true number one receiver. Oh, he's in his freaking prime. Yeah, he can definitely yeah. hammer it out. Jim jumping in the chat here. What's up, Jim? Long time no 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 see here. So my full disclaimer here: Jim is a a Raiders fan, as he puts up like. With that being said, anal or sorry, uh, R N. 4L. Every time I see that, I see I see the word anal. But uh, he says, <laughs> as I as much as I hate to admit it, if Jones shows up like he did, meeting Chris Jones versus Cincinnati, advantage to the Kansas City Chiefs. Chris Jones is arguably one of the defense best defensive tackles in the NFL. He was held in check for most of the regular season because all of his AKA 47 charges and all the other crap. But he had 3.5 sacks in the last two games, Mike. He is coming on hot. I mean, Chris Jones is a man on a mission right now. He is, but don't don't think for one second. Don't think for one second that the Eagles have not game planned for him yet. If you game plan for him, then you got to worry about, I don't know, um, the linebacker core, the secondary, other defensive ends. Like, the, the Kansas City Chiefs are – they're they're not a one trick pony. Like there are many people out there that they have to stop. That's true. They, you know, you're absolutely right. But man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they are game planning for um for Chris Jones. You have to. They should be. You have to yeah. game plan for him. Which that's why they can't see. He's gonna get a lot of double million dollars. Teams. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's gonna get a lot of double teams. You know what I mean? He should. Joey is voting for the Eagles in this game. Okay, Joey. Hey, hey, you could be wrong, but whatever. We'll see. Moving on to the next if and then of the night here. Travis Kelsey, we have said that he is basically the best receiver on the Kansas City Chiefs, which he's not a true number one receiver, but he is the best receiver on the team with 152 targets this season. So, Mike, if Travis Kelsey gets at least 10 catches in this game, then what? Oh, if Travis Kelsey gets more than 10, um, yeah. I mean, Chiefs could possibly pull out the win. Possibly. Possibly. If Travis Kelsey gets... Yeah, possibly. Travis Kelsey's probably going to get 10 catches in the first quarter, Mike. They're going to feed him the ball over and over. And, and, and that's over. what I'm talking about. They're, they're going to feed... They're going to force the ball to Kelsey. Like, that's just... They're not going to force him the ball. He's, he's going to be opinion. wide open. That little slow... Un unathletic ginger ass like mf'er is going to be open every freaking time. How do, how does he rumble down the field so like a like a birthing giraffe fresh out of the womb and like still getting the end? Like I don't understand. Like I don't understand. Like, have you seen that guy 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 run? It's literally like a like a fat man. Like uh, it just it's just crazy. Travis Kelsey, if he well, gets no, ten catches, he's he's, he's going to be the MVP. Mike, he will be the MVP. He's a He's a great route runner. Travis Kelsey is a great route runner. And he finds open spaces. And he creates a mismatch nightmare with linebackers. But, but, the Eagles linebacking core, I'm on now. TJ Edwards, I'm on uh, now. Zyre, Zyre Wright, right? I mean, those are names that many people haven't heard of. TJ Edwards, I believe, used to be on the Kansas City Chiefs practice squad. I think he was, or like at some point. I mean, so you have Kaiser White, 
I mean, TJ Edwards. Uh, and then Riddick. That's going to be your that's going to be your 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 X factor on the Eagles defense is Riddick. Did you not see what he did against the 49ers? Isn't Come he a on, defensive Sal? end though? I mean, he's not really a linebacker. He like he's, I mean, he's more that defensive end kind of walk up guy. I mean, he's he's a he's a player like Micah Parsons, right? right? You can line up on the defensive line or he could play linebacker. Hey, speaking of Micah Parsons, guess who Manauer just signed a deal with, Mikey? Micah Fanatics. Parsons. Man Hour has teamed up with Fanatics. Next season, we are doing pick'ems for all 18 weeks, and the winner of the pick'em each week gets to pick a jersey from Fanatics. So if you want that Micah Parsons jersey, bada bing, bada boom, fill out the pick'em oh, each, like, each week. You want that Dak Prescott jersey? You want C.J. Stroud jersey because th- that's who the uh, uh, Cowboys want to dr- draft this year, C.J. Stroud. No, CJ Shroud is going number one overall to the Colts. Uh, I don't think the Colts are going to give up that 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 much for him. Danny uh, jumped in the chat. I mean, What's up, Danny? He says Casey all day from a Steelers fan. Great evening, man hour. Great evening to you as well, Danny. Thank you for popping in the chat. Haven't haven't seen Danny. Man, how many well. Dannys we have? We have seventeen Dannys. Speaking of Danny, Damn. my sister Danny is here tonight. What's up, Danny? She's she's right over there. I gotta say say hi. Hey Danny. Hey Danny. It's Danielle. Hey. Hey Danielle. Hey. Don't call me. So speaking of X Factors, possible MVP, Jalen Hurts, Mike. Speaking of two touchdowns here, if Jalen Hurts scores two rushing touchdowns in the Super Bowl Sunday, then what? Uh Eagles win. I mean, yeah, like that's that's what that's Besides AJ Brown, that's going to be that's going to be the X factor. And <clears throat> listen, do you think that the Kansas City Chiefs are disciplined enough to that defensive line? Do you think they're deep, they're disciplined enough to stop Jalen Hurts' run? So that is what makes Jalen Hurts so great. Is many pe- many teams run that RPO right? It is the run pass option. What makes the Eagles so dominant is they run a PRO. They want to pass first, run second. So they got A.J. Brown running a fly down the field. They have their tied in. What's his name? Dallas, Dallas Goddard, right? He's running like, yep. little, like a little skinny post. And if any, and then if neither of those open, then Jalen Hurst is like rolling out and like he is going to, to like scramble. So if you want discipline – from the Kansas City Chiefs defensive line, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about de- discipline from the linebacking core because you have to worry about those skinny posts from Dallas Goddard, A.J. Brown, uh, Devontae D- 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 Smith. Like, those are the players that you have, have to worry about. Jalen Hurts' running ability is second nature to him. He wants to pass and then and then run. That that is that is what makes him better than Jalen Hurts and Lamar Jackson and Kyler Murray. All those guys use those legs to extenuate their passing game. Hurts' his passing game extenuates his rushing game. So the I'm not worried about the defensive line per se. I'm worried about the line linebacking core. But if he gets two rushing touchdowns, that is because the Kansas City secondary is playing so well. They're locking down A.J. Brown. They're locking down Devontae Smith. They're locking down Dallas God, Goddard, Miles Sanders, sneaking out of the backfield. And that is the last resort for Jalen Hurts. So I would be ecstatic if Jalen Hurts got two rushing touchdowns in this game because if that happens, the Kansas City Chiefs win this game. How? Why? What? No. Yeah. How? No. Because that is second – because Jalen Hurts doesn't want to run the ball. He has a hurt-ass shoulder. He doesn't want to get hit, right? Chris Jones, little fat ass, is going to <clears> land <throat> on that shoulder. I'm going to tell out. you something right now, Bug. Yes, while Jalen Hurts' shoulder may be hurt, this is the Super Bowl. Right. This is not just a regular game. This is the last game of the season. So, yeah, I'm putting – I don't care. I, I, all right, cool. I've got to have surgery in the offseason if my shoulder goes to shit. Right, cool. All right, well, but we're putting it all out on the line to win a championship. So don't think that Jalen Hurts is going to sit back in that pocket 
and be frail and decide, ooh, I don't want to run because of my shoulder. I'm not saying he is going to be frail. I'm saying if the Kansas City Chiefs take away the passing game, forcing Jalen Hurts to run the ball, that well, is a win for happen. Kansas City Chiefs nine times out of ten. That's not going to happen. The Kansas City Chiefs are not going to take away that passing game. They did it against the Cincinnati Bengals, arguably a better receiving core than the Philadelphia Eagles. You're right. But Joe Burrow doesn't have that scramble ability, nor does he have the ability to run like Jalen Hurts either. I, I will give you that. I will give you that. But then I will trump you with this. Chris Jones is playing good right now. And that's all that matters, baby. Chris Jones. We're going to see that that Eagles offensive line is is pretty good too. It is pretty good, and we are going to see Jason Kelsey retire after this after this game. Just uh, you think so? I I I think so. I think the writing is uh is uh on the wall. I mean, they they might you know he might especially if they after they win. You know? uh, they they won't. Uh, Danny, out on top. Danny says history is being made. History is being made. Uh, I don't want to talk about that history because I think it's. Not really to be talked about, uh, but Mike, do you do you know what history he is referring to? I do not. The two black quarterbacks. It's the first time two black quarterbacks have ever started uh, in the Super Bowl. So, so here's my take on that. Like, I'm so sick and tired of everything being a race thing. Like, yep. where I don't, I don't, I don't care. We're all we're all fucking Americans at the end of the day. That's it. I don't care what color your skin color is. And, and for it to be made a race, like everything in today's society is made to be a race thing. Yeah. Think, stop already. Who cares? Why don't we just talk about, about, about this? Two quarterbacks under the age of 26 years old made the Super Bowl. Yeah. Why, why, are, we why are we talking about that? Why are we talking about Why we talking about two great, yeah. two future Hall of Fame quarterbacks young in their career? Whoa, whoa. Why are we talking those about breaks. Jalen Hurts is not, Jalen Hurts had had one good year. Stop. One Stop. good year. Jalen Hurts. Why aren't we talking about the story of Jalen Hurts getting to where he is in the NFL? Starting off at Alabama, getting benched in the national championship for Tua, and then staying for one more year with Alabama behind Tua, and then transferring to Oklahoma, and then going to Oklahoma, winning the Heisman, and then going into the NFL. He has a good rookie season, and then now look at him. He's playing for a Super Bowl. Why aren't we talking about that? I don't care what your skin color is. So I don't care Dan about what you do on the field. So Danny actually clarified that he was not referring to the race card, but he was referring to, ah. to the comments on rushing for two touchdowns. I did not know that a quarterback has never rushed for two touchdowns in a Super Bowl. Apparently, Interesting. Apparently I that would did be not history. know that either. Like, did, hmm. I mean – isn't that iconic image of John Elway like jumping into the end zone and like doing like a like a three sixty? Wasn't that in the Super Bowl? I, I, I don't. If that is me, like shoot, have we really never had a, a quarterback rush for two more than two touchdowns in a Super Bowl? I mean, if you think about it, most of the quarterbacks in the Super Bowl are pocket passing quarterbacks. Peyton Manning, you know uh, those. You're those, right. Yeah. So, I mean, shoot. That would be his, would be his history, and Joey with another comical comment here about our jersey being team teaming up with fanatics here. He says maybe uh, Mike Vick, like he wants a Mike Vick jersey. He was a dog of a player. He was a dog. <laughs> Mike Vick was Mike Vick was nice. If you, I liked Mike Vick. I liked watching me? him play. Yeah, I know. I know. You're going to talk about the dog thing, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Hey, but. listen. When he fought dogs, he was on top of the NFL. When he stopped fighting dogs, he was just an average quarterback. Just uh, <laughs> when I wouldn't say all that. He was a he was a really good quarterback. I mean, I look, I was, I'm a Cowboys fan. I would play him twice a year. So, yeah. Mike Vick was a, a – what Mike Vick was scary. He, he was. I really wish he would have got a work release to play for the Kansas City Chiefs when he was at the uh, uh, Lawrence Federal Penitentiary there. That would have been fantastic. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, have you heard about this script that was leaked, Mike? I have. And, you know, have you been on TikTok lately, lately with all these NFL players that are, like, reading a script for their next season? Yeah. Right. I saw one with D-Hop today. It was, it was hilarious. Look, I'm not I'm not saying that the NFL is not rigged. I don't think there's a script for players. Right. 
do I think it's rigged in the fact that these these refs are calling really bad plays to decide games? Yeah, I do. Like over the past, especially over like the past two years, it's been really bad, really, really bad. Well, Roger, Roger, Roger Goodell did say that the refing has been has never been better. So you can take that for what you want. Right. But uh, I, I'm going to say this. Roger Goodell needs to go somewhere. Roger Goodell does not need to be the commissioner of the NFL anymore. You know who, who, who needs he to be should the resign. He needs to resign. Who needs to be the commissioner? Jerry Jones. <laughs> hey, he's a good promoter. Like the the Cowboys literally haven't played for a month, and we're still talking about him. I'm just putting it out there. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're you're not wrong. I mean, they're still talking about them on NFL Network and ESPN and right. everywhere else. I mean, it's America's team. So the reason that I, I brought up that script here is the script that was air quote leaked had the Eagles winning 37 to 34, Mike. So let's say in some crazy realm that the Eagles win the NFL game 37 to 34. If that happens, look, Mike, then what? I mean, look, if you think that even if it was scripted, right? Let's let let's let's go into a fairy tale world and let's say that the NFL is scripted, right? It's already been out there with everyone with the score. Do you think if it was scripted, do you not think they would change the script? You would think, right? But let's say if this score does happen, the Eagles win 37 to 34. I can I mean, see it now, Mike. Of conspiracy. Tr trending on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, whatever you want to call it. Hashtag NFL is rigged. Like it is going to be nonstop controversy till next till next season. It is just going to of be course. like for the NFL, for the love of God, if it is rigged, do not make the score thirty seven to thirty four. Like, yeah. give me a safety. Don't, don't so, do it, uh, Jesus. Like, Mike, if this happens, my top is going to explode. I'm like, really? Because that's because. We post things on Facebook like all the time, like like just like hey, yeah. which 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 team is going to like win? And out of the was like thirty thousand some comments on that post, I would say probably fifteen thousand of them said the NFL is rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. The Chiefs shouldn't be there. It's like it's la. Stop it. Stop it with that crap. Jim Powell. Says I, I Trump don't think is it's job. rigged. I, I don't think the NFL is rigged. Who wait? Who Trump needs a job? Yeah, Trump wow. needs a job. He says Trump will be a great wow. NFL co co commissioner. Make 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 that money. Joey says one day Atlanta will make it back to the Super Bowl. Oh, y'all got a whole lot of building before you can do hey, that. They have a cap space of sixty five million. This is the most uh, cap space they've had in like thirty plus years. Hey, I, I think they're about to. Uh, I think they're about to announce the uh, MVP. Okay. They already they they have already announced the offensive player of the year, which is Justin Jefferson. They've already announced the defensive player of the year, Nick Bosa. There you go, Danny. Nick Bosa, your 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 boy, Nick Bosa is uh, is uh, defensive player of the year. There, so it's between Joey B. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, and Justin Jefferson. Those are the finalists. You know, how, out of those how, five. How I, mad would people be if Joey B came out and Joey B was the MVP? Well, this is a regular season MVP, right? Joey, right, regular season. Joey Burrow. Regular did, season did, now. Did not have very good regular season. I mean, Justin Jefferson, people forget he had a record breaking season. He had a great season. I mean, like normally we give it to the best core or to the quarterback on the best team, right? That's kind of what the MVP has kind of defaulted to the last couple of seasons. When I say last couple, like last 15, right? We forget that Justin Jefferson. When was the last time a non quarterback won the MVP? I would say it's probably Charles Wilson. Um, was that 95 or 96 maybe? Well, I'm 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 curious. Joey says Tua should win some some something. 
Tua should not win anything. Tua should win him a grand prize of sitting his ass down and hanging up the cleats. Tua should win a Thank God I'm Alive award. How about that? After taking some of those hits that he took. Good gravy. That was so much. Oh, dude, it was so bad. Jim, so bad. Jim says Trump has always wanted to own an NFL team. Now he control all 32. If I was Trump, I would take that job, and I would expand it to 40 teams. More money, more teams, more, 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 more players. The last non-quarterback to win a MVP was in 2012. Do you know who it is, Buck? 2012 would probably have been JJ. Nope. No? No. Who? I, I, I'm, I'm. I'm going to leave it out there to the man, our nation. Y'all tell me who was the last person. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't do that. But tell me in 2012, who was, it was into, I'll give you that hint. 2012 was the last non quarterback to win. Was it a Oakland Raider? MVP. It was not. Hmm. It was not. Was it a cornerback? It was not. It was an offensive player. I'll give you that. Oh, it was probably the receiver for the uh, Bears. What's his face? Uh, no. No? No. Damn. So, it pro- 2012, Tennessee Titans, uh, what's his name, that got the 2,000 two, the, the, uh, yards? It was not Chris Johnson, no? but you're close. Dang. Dang. Was it, was, it, was, it, or was it a running back? It was. It was a running back. Was it was Adrian? Was it Adrian Jim Peterson? Did he have two thousand yards that it, season? It was Adrian Peterson, yeah. two thousand twelve. Yeah. The last person, two thousand and twelve. So almost ten years ago. For well, for nine 2012 years, was eleven years ago, Mikey. You're getting old. Eleven less. years ago. Shit. <laughs> oh damn. You're right. Damn. So for eleven years, the past eleven years, a quarterback has won. Yeah. And it probably be for that. It was probably 10, 12, 12 years in a row that a quarterback won again. And I didn't. I thought no. Charles it really no. It wasn't. It was in two thousand and six. Ladainian Tomlinson won MVP. Okay. And then the year before that, Sean Alexander won. I did not know LT won an MVP. Yeah, LT won in two thousand and six. Did Sean Alexander rush for two thousand yards? Mm, I don't know. See, I'm not sure. So it's funny that you brought up Sean Alexander because I kind of see him as a flash a flash in a pan and you posted something on man hour Monday that, I did that that Terrell Owens is in the hall of fame and Zeke has actually not Terrell thousand. Owens Terrell so, Davis Terrell Davis that, that, that that's right yeah TD and Zeke has the uh, was that what, 1200 more same numbers in the same, same numbers yeah Do so you think Zeke's I mean famer? yeah I mean like is Zeke not a hall of famer Terrell Davis was Terrell Davis only won a won a Super Bowl because of John Elway. Let's be honest. Because to, during that Super Bowl, Terrell Davis had, I think it was only like sixteen or seventeen touches because he had a migraine. They had him in there as a decoy. It was all John Elway, right? So it wasn't Terrell Davis who actually won them that Super Bowl, right? So is is Zeke a Hall of Famer then? If we're going by stats alone, uh, I I was actually going to look at this because uh, I was curious because I think TD just made the uh, Hall of Fame because he like broke his hip right, he popped his hip out or, or something like that and kind of ended his career early. But do you think Terrell Davis getting into the Hall of Fame was a pity? Was like, oh, we're sorry you broke your hip. We're gonna go ahead and put you in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, if you really, if you look at the Hall of Fame right now, it's it's a it's a lot of pity stuff, to be honest with. But the Hall of Fame nowadays is a joke. Yeah, uh, there, it's, it's, it's there, they, there needs to be an era, uh, like Hall of Fame now. Danny asked us a, yeah. a like a like a question, Mike. He says, "Who lost to the Steelers in the AFC Championship game?" Uh. What year? When? <laughs> what year? Yeah. I, mean, uh, I think the last time that the Steelers went to the AFC Championship game, they won it and won the Super Bowl with Jerome Bennis, right? Um, like, I don't know enough Steelers football history 
because I think the last Super Bowl they won was what two thousand five was 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 that their last yeah, Super something, Bowl? Something 2005 like that. 2006? It was two thousand five two thousand six. It was it yeah, was it was something. Jerome Bennis's last ride. Uh, ben Roethlisberger's rookie year. Um, and then before so that, in the AFC Championship, the last time they were in <clears throat> was 2010 against the New York Jets. And I think that's they beat them 24 to 19. Uh, so he was actually piggy, piggybacking off the uh, LT comment that the year that LT won the MVP. Uh, ah. So the Steelers were in the MVP or the AFC. They, they they didn't lose to the Chargers. I don't think the Chargers have ever won a playoff game with Philip Rivers at the helm, and Philip Rivers would have been a quarterback at that point, right? Yeah, uh, I think so. Shoot, I don't know. Look at Joey dropping that history. He he said Steelers two thousand ten was the last time they went to the AFC Championship game. The year after the Packers, yeah, Pittsburgh Steelers against the the uh, New York Jets. Yeah, that was the last time. And I think that was the year. Didn't they go on to win a Super Bowl that year? Who? The Steelers? Yeah. In 2005. That was when right? they were against uh, Kurt Warner and uh, uh, Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, mm-hmm. how, how long is the NFL going to keep us waiting for this freaking MVP, man? Like, I know. Right? This, I, and it's, here it is. I just got it. Patrick. Patrick Mahomes won his second most valuable player award in the NFL honors. Wow. Breaking news, guys. Patrick Mahomes has won his Breaking second news. MVP. Wow. I, I did not. I think Jalen Hurst was robbed. Well, like. Just, I, really, just like I mean, come said, on, the, man. I got to see. You know why they gave it to him? Because Tyreek Hill went to Miami and they still had a good. A good record, but if you listen to the manner, I told when you when Tyreek Hill was there, him. it wasn't the Tyreek Hill show; it was still the Travis Kelsey show. Right. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think Justin Jefferson got rod because I because I forget, or I, that, I got yeah. forgot how good a freaking season he had. Man, that guy had a great yeah, year. I mean, he had an amazing season. Didn't he break all of Randy Moss's like rookie records and then his second year records too? I want to say he did. I know he broke a yeah. few. I, I know he broke some Randy Moss records for sure. Uh, Damn, Patrick Mahomes. That's your MVP. Yeah, there you go, Patrick Mahomes. So Jim says, I grew up near Pittsburgh. Those those people don't know enough about Steeler history either. Interesting. I don't, you should, Jim, you should probably learn how to spell Steelers, but we'll give it to you. Don't give it. <laughs> Renee jumping in the chat here. He says, uh, "No cap, Jim. No, no crap. He should go take the McCarty and look in his lover." I'm so confused of what Renee's trying to say there. So confused on that. Wait, right. Nobody's even talking about the Cowboys there, bud. Uh, well, I'm not for sure, but she I mean, says she's win. She's back on the good side. Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. Mike, you got the no. Eagles winning the Super Bowl. I do. I got the I, you Chiefs. know what? Hey, we'll, we'll we'll take it. We won't we won't take the beers. Okay. I'll be through a bottle of whiskey. I'll send you whatever bottle of whiskey you want. Okay. If the Chiefs win, you send me a bottle of whiskey. Uh, if if the uh, Philly wins, you know I I I I I do live in the bourbon capital of America. Here in Kentucky, right? Louisville area? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I actually work like five minutes from Maker's Mark, so. Oh, that's even better. I know exactly what kind of bottle I'm going to tell you to send me then. Yeah, I, I see it right there on your left side. Yeah, there's Maker's Mark right yeah. there. Send that, us out, big well, guy. Send us out. Look, hey, the OG is back here. I'm, I'm here to stay. Man Hour Nation. Love you guys. Thank you for all the support that you give us. This is our last broadcast during the football season. Um, but don't worry. We got the USFL and the XFL that we're going to talk about. I want y'all to love one another. It's all love. And uh, y'all have fun this Super Bowl weekend. I know we will. Cheers, fuckers. Go Chiefs! <laughs>